Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does a guardian ad litem work? A guardian ad litem, jail, is an individual appointed by a court to represent the best interests of a child or an incapacitated person in a legal proceeding. This appointment is typically made in cases involving child custody, divorce, allegations of abuse or neglect, or guardianship matters. Appointment process. A gal is appointed by a family court judge, often on a case-by-case -case basis. The judge may select individuals with significant experience in family law or trained community volunteers. Responsibilities. The primary role of a jail is to investigate and gather information about the situation. This includes visiting with the parties involved, speaking with the child or incapacitated person, and monitoring the situation to ensure the best interests of the individual are being met. Investigative duties. A jail serves as a fact finder, investigating allegations of abuse or neglect and reporting their findings to the court. They may also interview potential guardians, request additional evaluations if necessary, and present their findings to the court. Reporting and recommendations. The GAL compiles a report based on their investigations and presents it to the court. This report includes recommendations on custody, parenting plans, or other arrangements that are in the best interest of the child or incapacitated person. Relationship with the court. A GAL is an officer of the court and reports directly to the court. They do not have legal power to manage the personal affairs of the individual they represent, but are responsible for advocating for their best interests during the court proceedings. Duration of authority. The GAL's authority is temporary and lasts only for the duration of the court proceeding. Once the dispute is settled, the GAL no longer has legal authority over the child's or incapacitated person's interests. Payment. In family law matters, the fees for a GAL can be assessed against one or both parents or split based on their income ratios. In guardianship cases, the guardian may be responsible for the GAL's fees, which can sometimes be paid from the guardianship estate. Distinction from other roles. A GAL is not the same as a guardian who has broader responsibilities to protect and manage the well-being of an individual, nor is a GAL the same as an attorney ad litem who serves as a legal representative for the child. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.